Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we will solve uh, May 11th challenge. Let's get into the question. The question is, uh, we have to count sorted vowel strings. So, uh, to explain the question, uh, sorted vowel strings is nothing but st a string that is constructed only using the vowel characters. So, if they are asking for n is equal to 1, that means uh, one length strings. So, how many of these uh, one length unique strings will be there? Um, so, um, if we use one all the vowels, we will have five strings. So, the output should be five. Uh, the next example is two length strings. So, if you see two length strings, we have 15 strings. That is A, 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 E, A, I, A, O, A, U. And uh, we don't have E, A because we already have A, E, which is sorted. So, we only need to consider the sorted strings. Shar sorted unique strings so let's uh, see how we can solve this question mm. so uh, for length is equal to 1 the output will be uh, for n is equal to 1 the output will be 5 uh, how did we get that uh, we have uh, a e i o and u so uh, we, we can form uh, one length string as 5 so um, okay uh, for two length string what how we can form we can form um, a e uh, so for each a we have uh, five five uh, next character so we can have a e i o u okay and for this e we can have only four characters that is e i o u because we should not consider a uh, we already considered a e which is sorted order we cannot consider e and a which is in unsorted order so we should not use unsorted uh, strings so uh, we will not consider them so we have only four next characters so if the first character is i then we have uh, only uh, three uh, next characters. similarly we have only two uh, next characters only uh, one next characters okay only two next characters and only one next characters uh, so uh, if you observe carefully this is a pattern so um, uh, so we uh, let's deal with numbers now Le let me erase all them all of them so for one length string we have a string of length one uh, like this right we have uh, if we sum up uh, sum up all this together we get a five as the result so for two length string we have to sum up everything and include it in first option that will be 5 okay then next option will be we will sum up only up till here and we will include it in our uh, next option that is 4 and we sum up only things till here then we will include it in our result that is 3 and uh, till here that is 2 and till here that is 1 if you sum them up what will be the answer that is the answer for the two length string so let me quickly sum them up 5 4 3 2 and 1 so it is 15 so our answer will be 15 for the two length string okay similarly for three length string what we will do uh, for three length string um, we will sum up the entire thing to get our first uh, string combination count numbers so that will be if we sum up everything what we are getting that is 15 right here you can see 15 so we will use 15 if we just consider until this one what we will get we get 10 okay if we consider only this we get 6 We, if we consider only till this we get 3 and 1 ok so uh, similarly if we sum up all this together what we will get that will be the answer for the 3 length so our answer will be 35 similarly for every other lengths you can do the same thing you will add everything together then whatever you will get uh, 
Um, you got uh, this one, right? 35. Whatever you got, 35 is the answer uh, for the first combination. And again, you will add up till here. And whatever you will get, I think you will get 20, right? Uh, 20 will be your answer. Similarly, you can do other steps. 20 and 10, etc. 20, 10, 4 and 1. If you add them together, you will get 70. So for 4 length string, the answer will be 70. So let's uh, uh, implement this solution. Uh, so I will take Python. Uh, as, as, as you can see, the first uh, uh, set of values were one, once, everything was once. So let us keep our initial result to once, five ones, one, one, one and one. Okay. Now our next, uh, what we will do for how much ever they had given n for n, uh, range n. That many times we will be executing our for loop, but uh, you can assume for one, we are uh, running the for loop only for zero times because we already have our one right uh, here. So for two, we will run our for loop one time. Okay. So we will run it only for n minus one times. Okay. Then uh, inside this for, so our, uh, result size is 5 so we will run it 5 in each index we will add it uh, to our result so the results i value will be equal to sum of result of i till the end so uh, for 0 it will be the entire sum we will be uh, we will be uh, summing the entire thing and we will be updating it in this ith index and for one, we will be summing the entire thing starting from one index and we will be up updating it in the one th index itself. That's what I have written here. W once this uh, runs, our for loop will be updated for that uh, uh, iteration. Then we then we can uh, repeat this process for n minus one time. Then we can return the final sum as our an answer. Okay. Uh, let's try to run this. Okay, for one it is working fine. Let's check for four, um, uh, four or three. Okay, for four or three we got thirty-five as our result. That's also working fine. Now I will try to submit it. Yeah, uh, it's working fine. Uh, performance is also good. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, 